Hey guys, this is Wood up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Championship Mode for Race 12 24. We're going to Pocono, and yes, we're in the Xfinity Series. So, last race was at. Oh my god, I can't remember. <laughs> Freaking Dover, oh yeah. We won the race. It was a very funky strategy sort of scenario thing, but. So, Pocono, here's the settings 25% race length, auto hard difficulty, three times uh, tire and fuel. So. And strict yellows, single race stages, same stuff as always. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get right into the uh, qualifying part of this and show you the car setup we'll be using for that and for the race as well. Here we are at Pocono, and here's the setup we're going to be using for the race. Again, it's really not going to be anything too crazy. It's just the wedge down to a 45 and the right rear at 32 for the tire and the fourth gear is down to a 95 so we have better top end speed for these very long straightaways so yeah let's get qualifying underway and hope we start on the inside line up well, turn three we'll see what this lap time is for some reason like at these power tracks we just don't have like great speed on our own 35th we're on the inside but yeah that's pretty disappointing so Algar is on the pole so that's again that's it's shocking because that very rarely happens in this mode and Looks like Brad Kozlowski in a different uh, paint scheme, so... Yay, DLC paint schemes, yay. Here we are, the race is about to begin, get ready. And the green flags are underway. Thankfully, we're on the inside line. That's, like, my biggest, like, thing I was really worried about. So we have 14 laps in the fuel and 25 lap race, so it's going to be a one-stopper no matter what. This track does burn fuel a little bit more than normal, but it should be good for us to, to go on one pit stop, so... Because we started on the inside, we'll have the preferred lane in the turn one. It gets the inside Dakota Armstrong. Already moved up five positions. So, just, just, just a little bit of side draft. Too, too much side draft, but... Yeah, just these long straightaways. Even with the lowering the fourth gear and getting a little bit more top-end speed, still it's hurting overall. Uh, straight line speed, I guess. So, I guess that, that kind of sucks. Not as bad, but we're at least on par, I guess. I don't know. I, I kind of contradicted myself within like for, for like 10 seconds there. But okay, we'll just bump Logano a little bit, side draft him a little bit, and frame rates are dropping. But it's okay. We had the preferred lane going into one. That's all that matters. And here we go, there we go. Look at that. Right at the end of the straightaway, we start picking up speed. Just hit the brakes a little so I don't run over Kennedy. And I guess we'll just be on the outside of him, try to get the draft with Kane or to whoever else is up there, Reddick, I think. Not somebody else, maybe Joey Days. We get by Kennedy, we're gonna try to get to the inside of Kane going into the tunnel turn, probably a bad idea, but he gives me room, so thank you for that. Perfectly executed that corner. Didn't make the pass, but didn't rack, so. That was, it was a good corner. So let's go into turn three now, don't run over Reddick. Almost did, I think, I'm not too sure, but. Yeah, we're making our way up through the field as long as they stay in these these big clumps of like big clump of cars in this pack. We'll be able to carry speed and still kind of be in the contention, I guess. I don't know. So, here we go to turn one again. Joey Gates, give me room. He does. Keep the car on the bottom. Almarola, hello. We'll just bump Shaft Stain a bit. He doesn't want to go, so we'll just try to go down low. Cole Custer. No, look at that. See, they're just, they're being so nice to me in this race. Like, they're giving me room. They're, they're giving me an option to draft. Oh, boy, that, this is a bad idea. Turn, turn. Hello, Amarola. That was my fault. Okay, let's regroup. Just, just get, let him go by. Let him go by. It's okay. Oh, my God. Somebody was, like, going into the grass in that corner. And we're almost going to try to do the same. So, we'll rub up against Amarola here. The frame race dropped down to 20 frames. Try to get the side drop with them, but it doesn't really work. So, four laps in this race, and we moved up 15 spots, and we're going to probably get around down world here in the one, so... Yeah, car seems pretty good. I don't know if we have race-winning speed. Well if, I, well, if I do that, you know, if I wreck myself, that, that certainly doesn't make me win this race any easier. Oh, damn. I'm gonna have to pit. Everybody's gonna. Yeah, I gotta pit. There's too much damage. Everything's too destroyed. We'll bump the tape up to 40. I still have to make a pit stop no matter what. So this is basically just like a 
a redo. Oh. It was my fault. I just entered that corner badly. We got 14 laps yet. Yeah, we still got a pit with like five to go. So, damn it. I really hate it when I make those stupid fucking mistakes. You know, I have fresh retires in them, but that's not going to really matter too much. That just, it just sucks. I just, hmm, I just hate when I make stupid mistakes like that, so. We'll try this again. We got to like almost 20th or 19th there, so. Uh, yeah. I'll just, just, uh, I'll try to be a little bit more cautious. So we're all going to have to pit around lap 20. Somewhere on there. Or maybe even a little bit sooner, so. I don't know if we'll really have much of a fuel advantage, but might be able to just take two tires and maybe do something at the end. I don't know. So, already from the start, went from 39th to 35th, so that's not too bad. Or we might go back to 36th, but when we crossed the line, we were 35th, so it's okay. So, yeah. I'm just, I guess I'll just try to chill and just try to make up these spots bit by bit. I'm not going to really try to do anything crazy now. Just really... It's just really weird to really park the car sometimes when I don't have the, the angle I want. But it's okay. That that was not that bad of a corner. Just I just felt a little uncertainty with the car. You know, it's just you just have that little. Bit. Now going really freaking wide in this corner is good. Well, nip. I don't know what I hit, but I I bumped something. I don't know. Right. So this lap it looks like we're only gonna gain two spots, maybe three. McLeod just. I don't know what kind of corner entry that was, but we'll just consider that a corner, I guess. So, can't do anything right now unless we just kind of get the traffic to Code Armstrong and put McLeod, what? McLeod uh, out of the draft, so. Oh boy, that was a wide entry. And is it going to work? Oh my god, it is going to work. That is unbelievable because I went in that corner so damn wide. Here we go, we'll just get Armstrong strapped here. Bubba, I just need to clear him. We're four, we're kind of four wide here. Bubba, Bubba, let me go, thank you. I was just saying I don't want to be aggressive, and here I am being aggressive, so I'm being stupid. So I don't know, I don't know what these AI drivers are going to do. I think they're going to pit a little bit, maybe around lap 16, I guess, or 15. I don't know if I should actually try to, you know, pit with them so I'm on sequence and just take, like, right side tires. I might do that and maybe just take... I don't even think I need a can. Um, do I need a... Actually... Ooh, let's think about fuel strategy. Hello, Carl. Okay. So, 14, 15 laps is on fuel, and one can is about seven, so we really only just need just one can, and we'll be good. So, I guess I'll do that when I pit, so... It might have worked out in my favor, I guess. I don't, I don't know. This, this race is definitely kind of turned up on its head a little bit because of that, that caution. Well, not as bad as Dover, because Dover just completely broke the field. <laughs> that would take me a couple laps to, to catch this little pack of cars here, but no, it was just one corner. So. Okay. It's just frustrating because it does seem like we have a good car. Like, I don't, I don't know if we have a winning car, but definitely a, a car to get top 10 with. Thankfully... With the win at Dover and Blake Cook's horrible run, we did gain a lot back in the points, so we're good on that front. We just just can't really afford to have a, just a terrible race. Like I, I really don't want to finish back here. So I'm going to try to get a good run here in the tall turn. Give Sieg a lot of room. Stay up high. Keep the draft with Reddick. And, well, I guess that just, that just was not a, a proper corner to take, I guess. That's what a shame. Sieg, what, like, I don't know what kind of entry that was, but that almost, he almost got into me. So, uh, come on, Harvick, stop it. Okay, we got the draft from Sieg, so we're just going to pull Harvick unless he's going to side draft me. No, he's not. Perfect. Okay, we'll get down low here. Seems like turn one is our best corner to gain, because they don't seem like they go in there very deep, and I can really, uh, I guess, take advantage of that. I can always seem to gain spots where they're the most, it seems like, I don't know. Yeah, we're slowly getting our way through the field. It's not been like a complete cakewalk, so it is, has been challenging, so the game's being pretty fair, uh, at least on that front. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to go through one the tunnel turn. What am I doing? So, 
We just completely backed up for that. I'm not going to wreck myself again. So 12, 8, yeah, we're going to have to pin a lap. We're pretty much good until lap 20. So Kane has a very bizarre entry into 3. Get to the inside of Reddick. And I, I guess maybe get by him. We'll try to. Oh, maybe? Kind of? No? Okay, never mind. We'll try. We'll probably get him in turn 1, though, so there's nothing really to worry about. Go. There, perfect. We made the pass. Kane, hello. Yeah, no? Okay. Alright, we'll just give him a shot. That works too. If he wants to get by, I don't even know who that is. That's Ross Chastain, so if he wants to get by him, you, you go ahead. I gave him a shot. And I just let him do his thing in turn two. And that worked out pretty well. So now it's time to try to make it three wide if they don't pit. They pit, and that's gonna be a problem. Oh, Kane gives me room. I just angled that corner terribly. Here comes Reddick. God, we screwed over Chastain bad. Oh, I could have gained more spots there. I just had to screw it up. Why do I have to do this to myself? So they should be pitting in the next couple laps, at least for the AI drivers. I try to get by Kane outside, but I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he was giving me the bottom. I don't know, but. We'll get to his inside, we'll try to get by him. Again, we're almost at the top half of the field again, so... It's nice to see, like, you know... I mean, the ground, we do have fresher tire side. I mean, maybe I should have gained more spots on the top. We're almost back to where we were before. Kane, just just stop. Just let me go. Just let me go. We'll just door him a little bit, sure. Maybe we can get by him in turn three, I don't know. We'll just door him again for, like, the third time. And... There we go, got by him. And people are pitting, please don't do anything stupid. And they don't, so perfect. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I, I, I mean, I guess I could pit next lap. Uh, so I'm not like terribly off sequence, and I am going to be taking right side tires, so I should be able to jump them a little bit. My left sides aren't too terribly worn, so I should be able to get away with this. So, yeah, I'm hoping, I guess at the end of the day, I'm hoping to gain spots out of this. Maybe get a top 15 finish. That's all I can really hope for at this point, so I guess that's my plan. So we'll just jog around here for another half a lap. Just try to hit my marks and not lose any more ground than I need to. I still I have no clue who the leader is or who it was prior to all the bit stops beginning, so I don't know. I know Blake Hook was somewhere in the top ten in Algeyer for the first time, like running well in this in this championship mode. So there goes some people down pit road, and we'll just get down here just fine. 55, perfect, and there we go, so we'll put in one can, two tires, we'll repair the front end if there's any, I don't know, so hopefully we can get out of, ahead of a couple of these cars and don't get held up on payroll, which does not look like it's going to be the case right now, so that's good. 6.8 second stop, no repair damage, we actually got out a tenth faster than was estimated, so I think we just beat everybody off a of pit road, so that might have been a brilliant strategy to, to do it like that, so holy crap. Please hold the page of the field. Is that right. Jeff Green in, like, legitimately in fourth? <gasps> okay, let's just merge on track before I wreck myself. And look at that big boy Ty Dillon in sixth place. We, we cycled up to seventh. Holy crap. I don't know if that's going to stay like that, but this, this is nice. Okay, we're in sixth now, so somebody else must have went down pit road. I don't know if this is the end of all of the cycled uh, green flag pit stops, but if we end out finishing like even in the top 10 because I was expecting a top 15 and I'll, I'll, I'll take it like that like th this race kind of got turned up upside down on its head when we kind of wrecked there so oh man this would be perfect if it plays out this way oh no <laughs> oh no oh gee okay that's gonna make the race interesting now Damn, I don't want the field to be bunched up, and we're gonna be on the outside. Jeff Green's in freaking third. He could win this race. Almirola in ninth. I don't know why he's pitting. I don't think there's anybody really a lap down, so except for David Starr. So okay, well this race now got really interesting. Well, we'll see what happens. Damn, somebody must have just blown a tire. I know we can get off to a good start. I just don't think we have a car to win. Like. We were kind of like four, 3.9 seconds off from Brian Reed of all people, I guess. So, four more laps to go, and we actually got to a really good start. But I 
couldn't get to the bottom, and I'm just stuck. I'm just stuck. Nope, okay. Well, I guess we'll try to make the pass on the outside, or... Oh, God, freaking Brad Kozlowski! Oh, okay, that was... That could have been much worse. Oh, my God. I'm trying to make it worse. Jeez. Damn it! I lost so much ground. I can maybe make some of it back up, but I'm just... I'm just... I'm, I'm just screwed. Yeah, I'm just... I'm stuck on the outside now. I want to get to the freaking bottom. Oh, Logano, just go. I want to keep it on the fucking bottom. You know, like, Sadler's in a DLC scheme. We get to the inside of Logano. We'll just door him up here a little bit off the corner. I thought I was going to. Try to get in the draft with Eric Jones. And draft Logano. Side draft him a bit. Three more to go. Well, I said I, want, I was expecting a top 15. I might be getting that. So. Go into turn one. Keep it on the freaking bottom. And it, 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 it stuck, so that's good. We just need the draft of those guys up ahead. That's all we need. I think we can have a shot of gaining more spots. Just don't know. We're, we're there. We're on the outskirts of it, so I, is, we just have to really nail these corners perfectly now. And I think we can get it. So, it's a good corner. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I think I can feel the top ten. It's there. Jeff Green's in second, by the way. Just want to let everybody know. I'm trying to pass Ryan Reed. Brad Kozlowski. We'll just door him up here a little bit. And there we go. Into almost twelfth. Damn, this week we're gonna get top ten out of this. I can feel it. We just have to make. We don't have to just drive the car in there like an animal. Like we don't have to do that. Take a wide entry into turn one. Break. Eric Jones. We'll just give him a shot, and he's gonna wreck. Okay. I, I didn't think I hit him that damn hard, but damn it! I'm trying not to fucking wreck. People. Tips and tenth. Is that who we're gonna have to race with for the for for tenth? Matt Tift. Oh boy. That car is losing a lot of grip in the car. Damn it! Well, mm, I don't think so. Just a little bit too far, unless we get like a really st st you know, stupid caution here. Your brain's falling apart. Well, uh, we just got to a better start there. Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna catch him. Like flag. Unless there's a, a caution or somebody does something stupid to bring out a yellow. Because we are going at the scheduled distance, so it could go into overtime. Ryan Reed's going to win a race. Jeff Green, come on. He's right there. Can't do it. I didn't even mean to hit Eric Jones. I, I tried to go in that corner. I, I said I was going to go in there very calmly, and I did. He just slowed up way more than I thought. Carlo. Sadler, no. I want 11th. Come on. Just stop. I can't. God, the car is falling apart. Still there. Oh, just, just come on. Come on. Turn. Turn! Ah, <sighs> fuck! Damn, it's running at 13th. Damn. Well, I said I wanted a top 15. I, I sure as hell got it, but... <sighs> Ryan freaking Reed won, of all people. I can't. Considering what happened in this race, I guess that's a, that, that I should be happy with that. Let's look at the finishing results. Yeah, I, I think points state. Well, okay, we beat Blake Cook by 11 positions, so that's good. And yeah, Ryan Reed won. Jeff Green freaking said, I stopped burping. <laughs> I'm getting pissed at everything. So I think points wise, it won't be too bad of a hit, but. I just can't believe Ryan Reed won a race. Jeff Green back in second, though. Harrison Rhodes sixth. All guy with a top ten. Final. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we have a 43 point lead over Cook. Sadler gained a little bit because he did finish ahead of me. And Jeff Green back in the top ten. I'm so happy. If one thing came out of this race, he got back in the top freaking ten. So next week we'll be at Michigan and Iowa. I'm not too sure how those two tracks will uh, pan out, but. Yeah, this, these, this this week, or at least the past two weeks, have been pretty flip-floppy with Talladega being good, Charlotte bad, Dover good, Pocono kind of bad. So yeah, been a little bit flip-floppy uh, the last four races, so I guess if this keeps going at this pace, we'll 
win at Michigan and didn't do, do bad in Iowa. I don't know, but yeah. So we have a decent points lead with uh, Kane. Oh, don't tie down as a win. Where is Ryan Reed at? 20, 21st. <laughs> Jeff Green. God, I can't believe he got second place. He could have freaking won that race. Oh, boy. Well, I guess that was okay, all things considered. That could have been much worse. That was definitely a good, like, uh, rebound from the wreck earlier. A big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Downrells, Roland Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Michael Harrison, Dave, 500 Champ 15, Jeff Gordon, Zach Rogers, and Racing News Now for their donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and I can't thank you guys enough for your help. I'll see you all at Michigan. I have no idea how that's going to, you know, be, so I, I just... Again, with how this is set up, this is just uh, classic points racing, so we just have to just finish decent... Not have horrible runs, and I think we can have this championship on decent lockdown. We almost have a full race lead over Blake Cook. Almost. I think we actually do, because I think the max you can get, at least in this, was 39 points. So, yeah, I think te we technically do at this point. So, yeah. So, we'll just have to continue that. So, I'll see you all next weekend. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.